Black holes, the cosmic monsters that swallow everything in their path, light, matter, even the very fabric of space-time. For decades, scientists believed nothing could ever escape them. But now, the James Webb Space Telescope may have just changed everything. What it saw coming out of a black hole has stunned astrophysicists and may rewrite the laws of physics as we know them. The James Webb Space Telescope, launched in December 2021, has been humanity's most powerful eye in the sky. Capable of peering deep into the infrared spectrum, it allows us to see not just across unimaginable distances, but back in time to the earliest days of the universe. And among its most recent observations was a target that had always fascinated astronomers, a supermassive black hole in a galaxy over 800 million light years away. This wasn't just any black hole. It was an active galactic nucleus, one of the brightest and most energetic objects in the universe, powered by a black hole millions of times more massive than our sun. The black hole itself was, of course, invisible. But its surroundings, the swirling accretion disk of superheated gas and dust, blazed brightly in Webb's infrared view. This was nothing unexpected. What was unexpected was the strange anomaly detected in the frames. A narrow, focused stream of material seemed to be emerging from the black hole's event horizon, the ultimate point of no return. This was something astrophysicists had only theorized, but never directly seen. For decades, black holes were thought to be perfect traps. Once something crossed the event horizon, it was gone forever. But this, this was different. Of course, scientists are familiar with relativistic jets, powerful streams of matter ejected from the poles of black holes created outside the event horizon as magnetic fields hurl material away at nearly the speed of light. But what Webb saw wasn't coming from the polar regions. This stream was coming from near the equator of the black hole, apparently inside the area where no light should escape. That shouldn't be possible. And yet, Webb recorded it. The discovery sparked immediate debate in the scientific community. Was it an imaging artifact? A trick of the telescope's instruments? The James Webb team triple-checked the data, compared it to Chandra X-ray Observatory and ALMA in Chile, and the phenomenon was still there. It looked as if the black hole wasn't just taking in matter, but somehow ejecting something else entirely. 1. Hawking Radiation in Action Stephen Hawking famously proposed that black holes can emit radiation due to quantum effects at the event horizon. But Hawking radiation was predicted to be incredibly faint, far too weak to detect from such a distance. Yet Webb's infrared sensors seemed to capture a structured, directional release of energy, not just random radiation. 2. Wormhole Exit some theoretical physicists suggest black holes could be connected to white holes, hypothetical cosmic objects that expel matter instead of consuming it. Could this have been an exit point for matter that fell into another black hole somewhere else in the universe? It's a wild idea, but one the data didn't entirely rule out. 3. Quantum tunneling event. In quantum mechanics, particles can sometimes tunnel through barriers thought to be impenetrable. Could particles at the edge of the black hole's singularity have somehow tunneled through the event horizon? The strangest part wasn't just what was coming out. It was what it looked like. Webb's spectrum analysis showed that the ejected material wasn't ordinary plasma. It contained highly exotic particles, ones that shouldn't naturally occur under normal conditions. Some matched the predicted signatures of axions, hypothetical particles that could be a major component of dark matter. If that's true, then Webb may have just accidentally observed dark matter being released from a black hole. If confirmed, this wouldn't just be a black hole discovery, it would be one of the most important discoveries in all of physics. The implications are staggering. For years, dark matter has been the universe's greatest missing puzzle piece. It makes up around 27% of the universe's total mass-energy content. 
yet we've never directly seen it, only its gravitational effects. But if Webb has truly seen it emerging from a black hole, then not only have we found it, we may have also found a natural factory for creating it. And that raises an even bigger question. Are black holes not just cosmic destroyers, but also cosmic creators? As the web data poured in, the stream of ejected material continued for hours before fading from view. No other telescope on Earth or in space had captured anything like it. And then something even stranger happened. Readings from Webb's sensors indicated fluctuations in space-time itself near the black hole. It was as if the fabric of the universe was rippling outward from the event horizon. The James Webb team had to make a decision. Release the findings immediately or hold them back until they were certain. The public only learned part of the story until a classified meeting at NASA revealed just how bizarre this event really was. When the James Webb Space Telescope's anomaly report reached NASA's Astrophysics Division, it didn't go through the usual channels. The data packet was marked for Restricted Internal Review. Only a handful of scientists were invited to see it, and what they found inside left them questioning the very structure of the universe. The raw infrared images were impressive enough, that strange concentrated beam of matter and energy escaping from near the black holes of N horizon. But the spectral analysis files, those were the true bombshell. Buried in the wavelength data were energy spikes at frequencies no known natural process could produce. These weren't just thermal emissions from superheated plasma, nor the telltale X-rays from matter colliding at relativistic speeds. They were structured, repeating patterns, almost like a signal. This puzzled the research team. A black hole shouldn't be generating pattern frequencies like this, especially not in the infrared spectrum. Random noise? Possibly. Instrument glitch? Unlikely. Webb's instruments are among the most sensitive ever built, and every anomaly is automatically cross-referenced with its other sensors. One astrophysicist, Dr. Lena Morales, put it bluntly. If this is interference, then it's the most consistent interference in the history of astronomy. And if it's not interference, then we're looking at something actively encoding information from inside a black hole. The Webb team immediately compared the anomaly to known astrophysical sources. Pulsars, magnetars, quasars, all of which produce repeating patterns of energy. None matched. The periodicity of the beam was too precise, almost machine-like. To test this, the data was run through AI-based pattern recognition software, the same kind sometimes used for searching for extraterrestrial signals. The results were chilling. The AI flagged the pattern as non-random and potentially artificial. An artificial signal coming from the most inescapable object in the universe. At this point, NASA called in external consultants from SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. They had decades of experience sifting through cosmic noise for signs of intelligence. After reviewing the web data, SETI's senior analyst confirmed that the repeating infrared bursts could indeed be a form of data transmission, although the source was unlike anything they'd ever encountered. And here's where things got truly strange. The bursts, when translated into binary form, produced a sequence of prime numbers. Not just 2, 3, 5, 7, but a long chain extending into values that would require advanced computational ability to produce. Prime number sequences are often considered a universal indicator of intelligence in SETI research. They don't occur naturally in such long, uninterrupted chains. Dr. Morales explained in a closed-door briefing. If we've just discovered a new form of physics, or someone or something is trying to talk to us from inside a black hole, it raised several mind-bending questions. How could any signal escape the event horizon at all? If the source is intelligent, is it inside the black hole, or somehow using it to communicate? And most importantly, why send the message now, knowing we finally have the technology to detect it? The team also noticed something else. The beam was directional. It wasn't spraying energy in all directions like normal astrophysical processes. It was aimed, not at random, but straight toward our solar system. And then came the most unsettling realization. The time delay. Given the black hole's distance, roughly 800 million light years away, this signal had left its source long before humans even existed. 
whoever or whatever.